Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make balls for different sports using Illustrator's 3D Revolve effect. 3D is a live effect. Here it is in outline mode. And we'll start with something simple and then build upon that. To get the basic ball shape, first draw a circle and then bisect it with a straight line. It'll help to turn on smart guides for this. So just draw your line directly in the middle of the circle. Then select them both and go to the Pathfinder Divide function. Now delete the left half of the circle so you're left with the right one. Go up to the Effects menu under 3D and choose Revolve. And I'm going to click Preview and you can see how this ball is starting to take shape. And by the way, if your image doesn't look like this, make sure that Left Edge is selected under this menu. Down here under the Lighting Controls, I'm going to add another light move that up to the top left, and then I'm going to take this one and move it to the back, which will give us a nice highlight along the edge. And then I'll just make that highlight a little bigger and click OK. I've already created the 8 for the 8 ball, which is just the outline numeral on a white circle. I'm going to drag that into the Symbols panel and give it a name. I'll just call it 8. Everything below the name is really not important. It's, it has to do with Flash, so graphic or movie clip doesn't make any difference. Click OK and then select the ball once more. Click on 3D Revolve in the Appearance panel and click on Map Art. In this window you see a visual representation of the surface of the shape. And since this is a sphere, it only has one surface. The light area is the area that you can see and the darker area is the one in shadow. I'm going to choose the symbol from the drop down menu, the 8 that I just created, and move that over to the center of the visible area. The size looks about right, so I'll just put it there in the middle, and then I can click Shade Artwork at the bottom, which will put the shadow on the symbol as well as the ball for a little more realism. Moving on to a striped billiard ball, I've created an orange bar which will wrap around the ball. Once again, dragging it into the Symbols panel, give it a name and ignore everything below. I'm going to change the color of the ball to white, and once again click on 3D Revolve in the Appearance panel, choose the symbol from the drop-down menu, and here we have to resize it a little bit so it will wrap around the entire ball, so I'm just going to move that to the edge of the preview window. By the way, the preview box is unchecked by default every time you open this window, and you might find that annoying, but the reason is if you have something really complex that needs to render, you might not want to wait for it every time you open this window. So now I'm just going to rotate the ball a little bit in the 3D Options box and click OK and there's my striped billiard ball with a nice highlight on the edge which you can see a little bit better now that the ball is white. Moving right along, if we use vertical bars instead of horizontal, we can create a beach ball and I'll drag it to the Symbols panel as before and map the art. Here I'll click Scale to Fit and turn on the Preview button and let's have a look. Beach balls tend to have a circle of material at the top, so I'm going to shrink the symbol vertically a little bit, and that gives me the look I want. And if I go back and edit this effect and choose Shade Artwork, this is what it looks like. So once you become familiar with how the positioning of the symbol will translate to how it appears on the object, you can start making some more complicated illustrations. For example, the lines on the tennis ball are made up of two ovals, and I'll just put a gray background here so you can see them a little better and those ovals are mapped to the center of the surface and wrap around the ball like so. A basketball is made with the same ovals and then we'll add a couple of lines. The horizontal line is the line that goes around the ball this way and the vertical lines are the ones that go around the front and then it meets up at the back. And this is how it looks in the Map Art dialog box. For a bit of detail, I've added a dark orange stroke behind the black stroke of the basketball line, and I've done that via the Appearance panel. And here's how it looks when it's mapped to the orange ball. With a bit of planning and experimenting, you should be able to create a variety of balls for your favorite sports.